Welcome back, everybody. Um, this will is be the fourth part of our modding uh, Fallout 3 video. Um, these mods will be mods that just are sort of extras, don't really change much. They're just sort of extra nice little mods to have. Um, if you want to play a vanilla playthrough, a playthrough with no gameplay changes, these would be fine with that because they really don't change anything gameplay-wise. They just sort of add a couple things here, like a new radio station, a new quest, sort of stuff like that. Um, I'll show you what they are as we go along, though. Um, so let's go ahead and jump right into it. The first one we're going to install is called GNR Enhanced. GNR stands for Galaxy News Radio. If you don't know what that is, that's a radio station that plays in the game that stars 3Dog. Um, what it does is it adds uh, a bunch of songs into the game uh, because there's only about 20 songs originally. And what this game, what this mod does is adds a hundred new th songs that fit the time period in a relatively, relatively similar, uh, like themes and stuff, you know, about atomic war and, you know, that, that kind of, some of you, a lot of you same artists. So it just takes the original songs and puts some more songs in between there. And it still has a three dog playing. So it has all the original songs and then a hundred new ones mixed in, in there. Um, and it fixes some, some bugs in the, uh, radio as well. Um, so, um, to install this, you're just going to go ahead and download, uh, the GNR Enhanced right here, along with, uh, the beta update. Um, so you'll download the GNR Enhanced and the beta update, uh, both files. And we're going to go ahead and open up our, open up our folder where we're making the full mods, like from the previous videos. Um, and I'm going to open up my downloads. This is my download list on the side here. And I'm going to go ahead and close these tabs that I opened. Alright. So I'm going to go ahead and make a folder. I usually just call it radio space GNR, but the name really doesn't matter. And then I'm going to go ahead and open the file. Um, it's a one gigabyte download, so it's pretty big, just to warn you. I'm going to go ahead and drag this over GNR Enhanced um, into the radio folder. And since it's so big, it'll take a while to process. Um, it has 100 songs, and it has all 100 songs. It has a couple new ads it puts in there. Um, time period ads, some vault text, some uh, nuclear uh, equipment ads that play pretty rarely. And it also has the monos because the speakers in the speakers of jukeboxes play in mono, and then the stereo ones is um, the radio itself. It'll just take a second, and I'm gonna go ahead and get the beta update ready as well. Um, for this beta update. Um, Normally you would install um, install the uh, file and then put the update over it, but we're gonna go ahead and make it a little easier for ourselves. And I'll show you a little trick um, as soon as it's unpacked. It's almost done. Takes a second. This is the biggest file we'll be downloading in this section. It's only big because of how many songs there are. All right, now we're done. So. The file the, of the beta update is the, is the exact same name as the original file for the update, so we're just going to go ahead and drop it in there and replace it. And then it's already updated and it'll update install properly. We're going to open up our mod manager. One second. Let's go ahead and. Okay, well, we're going to go ahead and open up our mod manager. And then we're going to go ahead and open up our package manager like normal. And we're going to create our faux mod from folder, as I've showed you a thousand times in all these videos. We're going to find our radio GNR enhanced and click OK. It's going to make its faux mod. That'll let us to reinstall very easily later. Almost done. And again, I, we, I have you make all these full mods so it makes it very easy to reinstall in case you mess something up. Because if you follow all my instructions and the game doesn't work, then you messed something up. You either downloaded something wrong, you forgot to install something, you installed something incorrectly, you put the folders in wrong. You have to figure out what you did incorrect and then try to fix it. All right, so I'm going to double click to install. Um, 
this mod should be compatible with anything because it only affects GNR. Um, if you have another mod that affects the radio itself, um, then it might not work, but you shouldn't have any other mod that, that does that. The next mod we're going to install, now that that is done, is we're going to install a mod called uh, Conrad. It's just another separate radio station. Um, it has time appropriate music and all new songs that are different from GNR and um, Enclave. So there's no overlap in songs here. Um, it's just another radio station. It plays separate. It's a separate station completely, and it, I do recommend it. So we're going to go ahead and create our folder, Connell Rad. Gonna... This one might be pretty big too. Connell Rad, all right. It's not as big, it's only, um, it's only uh, 135 megabytes. Um, but the quality of the music will be a little worse. So we're gonna go ahead and drag the Conrad ESP and the sound folder into the Conrad folder. I know I misspelled that, but it's okay. Um, do package manager, which is already open. There it is. Go ahead and create from folder, scroll down, uh, click on Conrad, and it is now installed, that simple. And the next one is one more radio station. Now, this radio station has a mix of really nice songs and then some just weird sounds. But it's it, you might like it. A lot of people like it. It's a good idea. It's, I wish there were some tracks removed because some tracks are just really not listenable. But it's called Existence 2.0. You'll download it and install it just like we did the other ones. It won't conflict in anything. It's just a separate, complete radio station. Except it does add one location in. Um, it it adds one location in um, the game where you can actually see the radio station. We're gonna go ahead and. Well, apparently I didn't already download this one, so we'll pretend we'll pretend that we downloaded it. It's the exact same process as Conrad and the other ones. Just download, create your folder, put it in the game, and then it runs fine. The next mod is called Random Encounters. What this does is when a random encounter spawns in the game, it alerts you by making a quest and saying it'll pop up and you'll, you'll see a, like a quest objective and you'll see, oh, It'll have the name of the encounter because sometimes encounters only happen once in a game. And if you're not paying attention, like it can spawn anywhere around you. Um, you could completely walk past it and never notice that it, it spawns. So this game, it just helps like you notice that, oh, a random encounter has spawned. Look over here for it. It's a very nice little uh, mod. I like it. And it doesn't really, I haven't had any problems with it in the game I've been playing. So you'll download the, the uh, file. We're going to call it um, random encounters. Random encounters. And we'll go and open it, and it's just an ESP file, which is a super easy install. That means it'll, it'll create from folder. Um, random encounters. Double click. Done. Forgot to install Conrad. I'll do that as well. Done. Done. Very simple. Very easy. Now the next one is called Centered overhead third person camera and when you go in third person this is only if you play in third person um the camera and third person view is normally off to the side of your character and kind of behind and it's kind of it's kind of an odd place for it if you're doing third person point of view so what it does it just moves the camera as you see in this picture like to be like right behind and above you like a normal game it's just a slight alteration, a slight fix. Um, and you don't need this if you're not playing um, in third person. But I occasionally do it and go in third person once in a while, so I like to do it. You just download it, and just like the other one, make a little folder. Overhead, third person camera. And it's another really small file because it's such a small change in the game. And it really shouldn't conflict with anything. It's super, super light, super easy. 
this is something I would recommend even in the in the vanilla game. For those that don't want to change anything. It's something so small. Alright, um the other mods we're not gonna install, but I do recommend you play them on your own if you don't and only install them if you don't have gameplay changing mods. These these quests are balanced around vanilla unmodded gameplay. It doesn't matter, you can change all the graphics you want, but if you have Fallout Wonders Edition installed, um, E, Mark Mugen mod, those, these won't work quite well with those because they're not balanced for it. First one's called Cube Experimental. It's a nice, it's a very unique quest mod. It's definitely worth playing through. A Note Easily Missed, another good one. An Evening with Mr. Manchester. To Sleep Perchance to Dream. And In the Shadow of the Swamp. These by no means are amazing um, quests and stuff, but they're you know they're worthy of a playthrough. They're under the quests and adventures section of um, of Fallout 3, and feel free to chest any of these down here. Um, I haven't played most of these, but there's a lot of interesting quests. Um, some of them are conflict heavily with others, so I'd only do one at a time on a fresh playthrough if we're gonna do them, because you don't know how they conflict with other things and you don't want to run gameplay changing mods with them because they're not balanced for that okay um, now that we have installed all of the mods that we're going to um, do um, we are now ready to get our game ready to play and in the next video which will be part five I will show you how to get once all your mods are installed and ready to go how to get all your mods playable and ready to go and it just takes a couple of steps and i will show you in the next video how to do that so look for the next part um the link will be either right here or down the bottom it says next video it should come up just a, very quickly after this video so thank you guys for watching i'm dan from dance gaming um hope you enjoyed the videos if you do don't forget to subscribe um and also check out my twitch channel i could be live right now if i am you'll see a little purple bar that says live on the video um but uh Thank you for watching. You guys have a good night and yeah, ta-ta.